Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends. Welcome to another episode on the Life Signatures Radio. A couple of episodes back, not a couple, more than a couple of episodes back, we started a new series on this podcast, which is always about purpose, productivity, and resilience. We started talking about street smartness, and we are going to culminate into talking about how we can raise street smart children. But we were looking at a choice two episodes back. If you're given an opportunity to choose between your child being book smart and your child being street smart, what are you going to choose? And I gave you my choice yesterday. If you did not listen to that, go back to yesterday's episode and just tune in and hear what I had to say. Now, I said in the episode yesterday that we have no problem being book smart. I mean, it's already defined. We're already doing that. We're already schooling our children. 90% of us are already schooling our children to be book smart. But the question is, how about street smart? What does it mean? Why should we think about street smartness? And I want to talk about that in this episode and in the next um, four or so episodes to come. Why should we venture into being street smart? Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Hopefully, even as we're talking about these things, hopefully it is going against the grain. Hopefully it is going against the status quo of the day. Hopefully, right? Because, okay, let me not go there. Why would you want your child to be street smart? Okay, now the question is, do you want your child to be street smart? Do I want my child to be street smart? Yes, I do. A thousand times, yes, I do. Why? Because I have lived enough, long enough to see what works. I've lived long enough to see what has gone wrong for me. Should they be book smart too? A thousand times, yes. They should be. But now, the, the issue of book smart is already sorted. They are already there. They are already working towards it. But street smart, are they working towards it? Are they really working towards being street smart? That's the question that we need to grapple with. And the question is, why? Why street smart? And the following are some of the reasons that I'm going to give you. Today I'm going to look at one reason. Then tomorrow we're going to look at another and then so on and so forth up to four reasons. The first reason is that it takes time. Now, when I talk about this, it goes on a very big tapestry of options it takes time it takes process it takes maturity you cannot be book smart if you are not certified you know that you cannot be called book smart we gave you a definition of book smart yesterday you cannot be called book smart if you have not passed and certified and you cannot be certified if you've not risen to the echelons of academia You cannot rise to the apex of academia without expending lots of time, at least two decades, at least, at the very least, two decades in academia. Now, to be street smart, however, it doesn't have to take that 
long. It doesn't have to take that long. There is no definitive time for your child or for you to be street smart. There is no definitive time. The only difference is the difference between the hunger that you and I have. It doesn't have to take that long. Two decades to be street smart? Nope. Nope. It's too long. You can be street smart in less time that it takes to be book smart. It takes less time. Actually, the number one reason as to why you should think about being street smart, why street smart is that it takes less time. It takes less time. It takes more time to be book smart. It takes less time to be street smart. You can be street street smart in less minutes. Okay, minutes, no, let me not wing this. The only difference here is that the society cherishes more. Generally, it's like this this, uh, general mind expectation is what do i call what do they uh, not hallucination it's a it's like all of us have this this already settled accepted generally accepted that book smart is the way to go the society uh, cherishes book smart people more than it it should and consequently there are more book smart people on earth then there are street smart people on earth. And if you look at the numbers of book smart people who are not productive, it is less, okay, it is more than the number of street smart people who are not productive. It is more. What am I talking about? Let me just take that again. The total number of book smart people who are not productive is higher than the total number of street smart people who are not productive. Actually, it's an oxymoron to be street smart and not productive. If you are book smart and there's no element of street smartness in you, chances are, especially if there is no opportunity given to you, and that's the thing, because book smart people want opportunities to be given to them, street smart people make opportunities available for them and for others. Huh. So the end result is basically disillusionment by book smart people. I spent two decades in school for this. That's someone saying when they have a degree and they are sweeping. How many times have you seen people in the streets with placards that I have a degree in biochemical engineering, please give me a job? It's, it leads to disillusionment. Now, someone in the streets with an academic paper, I mean with a placard, saying give me a job, is that being street smart? <laughs> uh, I don't know. So people end up being disillusioned in the job market. There is, they, let me tell you this, ladies and gentlemen, there is nothing wrong they did. There is, the problem is not them. The problem is not even the degree. It is a good thing. It's a mighty thing. But the problem is the market. Actually, the market is not even the problem. The problem is lack of anticipating what is in the market. The requirements of the market. What the market needs. What the market is looking for. That is where the thing is. The the market is not necessarily looking for you academic paper. The market is basically looking for a solution. Or solutions to problems. It's not looking to reward you because you have a title. Or you have an academic accolade. Street smartness overlooks all that stuff. The way the world works today is not to look for people with academic qualifications and reward them accordingly. No. The world just needs a solution to problems. That's it. Whoever can provide a solution to a problem, where they are, show up 
Tell me what you can do. How you're going to do it. Show it to me. Do it. And when you do it, I'm going, I'm going to tell my people, Hey, I found a guy who's a guru at this. Who are they? Where did they go to school? I don't care. I just know I had a problem. And they sorted it for me beautifully. Let me tell you this. My car has trouble. And I take it to, to mechanics. I have never asked those mechanics where they went to school if they have a Harvard degree. Never. I just want it to be sorted. I, I, yesterday it was emitting noises uh, at the front right tire. Left or right. Whatever it is. And I went to this guy. He's called Michael. Somewhere in Tinda in Uganda in Kampala. He sorted me out. I don't know where he went to school. That's what the market is looking for today. Now our approach into this is that, hey, I went to school for two decades and I got these academic accolades. Can't you at least recognize that and give me something commensurate to that and pay me? That's the approach we are using. We are not being street smart, we are being book smart. And it doesn't work. Like I've said, the problem is not the degree. The problem is our approach or our use of the degree. The market couldn't care less. That's why Google, IBM, uh, Facebook, all these big time organizations, they have started not looking at people who are book smart. Say we don't need a degree for you to work with us. They have started learning those things. Well, well, well. So, the more reason why book smart is because, I mean, why street smart is because it takes less time to be street smart than it takes to be book smart. And it's actually instantly or more rewarding to be street smart than to be book smart. I know it's very controversial, but the reality on the ground is there. It's working. When you are sink has a problem you are not going to call a book smart people who knows uh, the uh, the composition of alloys in the metals that were used to prepare the sink or what is the best thing that is going to prepare this sink not to rust the composition of rust the process through which rust occurs that's book smartness huh street smartness is this one is going to be fixed here and we're going to use a rubber here and a stopper here and a washer here and it's going to work for you if it has a problem, you call me back. I replace again. Street smart. Offering solutions. Book smart. Theorizing. Anyway, tomorrow we're going to say, we're going to continue talking about this. Why should we be more concerned about being street smart than book smart? Until then, bye bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.